Uh, and like I said, we're gonna learn as we go. So you know, stay, stay, stay watching, and you'll learn a lot. Um, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna jump right into it right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this picture here, and we're gonna liven it up. We're gonna correct the colors to it. It looks okay now. It's actually a decent shot. But um, first thing we're gonna do is over here on the layers palette. I'm gonna show you about layers. We're gonna learn it because that's what we're gonna do. Okay. The very first thing we're gonna do, which is I suggest you do, it's not necessary, is to duplicate um, your layer so that you always have one to fall back on. So I'll show you. You'll get it. You'll get the idea in a second. Uh, if you grab it, if you grab it, drag it down to this little icon here. This is a new page icon. If you drag one layer onto that, it will copy it. Okay. There are many ways to duplicate. If you press Command J, which is short for jump, you're jumping your layer, which duplicates it. If you come over here into your layers palette where all sorts of layer commands are, are held, so there's, there's different, um, in the menu up here, there's all these different things. This one deals with layers, so you'll find uh, its name layer. Um, right here, you'll see it says duplicate layer. You can click that and it'll give you this option of what to name it, and then you click OK and it'll do it. So there are many ways to duplicate things. I per personally, um, we're going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I personally like to use keyboard shortcuts, so Command J it is, okay? Uh, also, we can make a new uh, document by just clicking here and it'll make a new empty one. So this is a new empty layer and if you're not following along, don't worry, you'll, you'll follow along in a second, okay? So we're going to make a couple of those. The first one I made by just clicking this button. It makes a new one. Uh, I can also press, um, let's see if I know it, um, Command Shift N. Command Shift N is to make a new layer. Uh, and then I'll just hit OK. You can also go over here to the layer palette and you can go new layer, okay? So we have these layers and, and they're conveniently named two, three, and four, okay? They, they get named as they come up. You can rename them by just clicking it, double clicking it, and saying, um, I'll name it L2, oh, whoops, L2, short for layer two, okay? And then, you know, here you can go and name it um, L3, you know? And then right here, we're gonna name this one um, Painted. All right, so what we're gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna just I'm going to give you a general idea of what layers are. Now, this is the way I like to think of them. Um, each layer, this one here being the, the bottom one, we I can turn this one off and we won't see it because um, it's, it's already covered up by this one. So it's like a stack. They're stacked on top of each other. If I turn this one off, we're going to see there's nothing. These checkerboards mean there's nothing there. Uh, it's just an idea to let you know that there's nothing there. But, you know, if it's white, then that means there's something white there. So they have to put a checkerboard to let you know there's nothing there, okay? When I say they, I'm just referring to the folks at Photoshop, the good people at Photoshop, Adobe. So anyhow, if I turn this on, these layers do not have anything on them, so they're not in the way. But if you can see here, I'll go to L2 and I'll just draw a shape. Now, don't worry too much about what I'm doing here. I'll show you more. What I'm doing is I'm going to the marquee tool and I'm just gonna draw a circle or a rectangle or whatever. I mean, uh, not a rectangle, uh, <laughs> an oval. And then uh, I'm gonna get out my paint bucket tool. And like I said, don't worry too much about this. I'm just gonna paint in there. I'm gonna deselect it and I'm going to move it, okay? Now this layer is blocking this layer. Uh, now if I get this layer here and I make a square, we're gonna go make a square. Oops, here we go, we're gonna make a square and then I'm going to fill it with a different color. And again, I'm just going to my colors palette. I clicked in the color box and I'm just selecting a color. I'm gonna bring up my tool by pressing G and then I filled it there. So now we have a square, a circle, and we can go to paint it and we're gonna get our paint brush tool with B. And again, don't worry too much about what I'm doing. We'll explain these tools a little later. And I'm just going to make a, whoops, we're not gonna do it the same color. Here I go, click in the box again. I'm going to click in this box here. This is an awesome program, so it's got so much stuff, but I'm gonna make a squiggly line. Now, what I'm gonna do here is show you that we can, if I get this squiggly line and put it under this box, the box is on top. It's on the top of this stack, so it's on the top of the layers. Same thing if I get this circle and I put it on top of that box over here, there you go, it's it's covering it up. There's also keyboard shortcut, command and bracket will we'll drag it down one Left bracket drags it down, right bracket drags it up. So you can go down and drop it. If I drop it under the picture, it's all the way under and you don't see it. If I bring it up, it's there, it's on top of that, it's on top of that, it's on top of that. Squiggly line, same thing. Oh, whoops, I didn't grab the squiggly line. Um, I just grab my squiggly line by clicking it there. Alt bracket, squiggly line's on top. It's it's not on top of the square. If I get my, uh, my move tool or uh, if I press V for my move tool and move it, you'll see it goes on top of the red under the black square. But if I bring it up one, it's on top of both. So this is the way layers work. Very simple. 
Um, you'll get the idea of it, and, and it's very powerful. Layers are extremely powerful. This is just a goofy ass thing that I did, but layers are extremely powerful for doing lots and lots of things. So we're gonna throw these layers out. And what we're going to do is, oh, and one last thing I forgot to show you, we're gonna Command Z there. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you that you can change the opacity or how opaque um, something is, so if it's see-through or not. So right here, we're gonna go to 40, we're going to 41% and so you can see through that, that uh, black circle. So you can do that in any range. Right here is the slider and the, you can click it, you can slide it, you can go in here, punch in a number. Uh, we'll go 50% and there it is, 50%. So that's one thing you can do. We also have blend modes here, which we'll go over later. There's a really cool effect that we're gonna do with blend modes. So that's one last thing I wanna show you before I got rid of these layers, okay? Uh, so now that we've made our, um, this is gonna be our, our, our starting layer. So we're just, we're just gonna name this start just so we get, whoops just so we remember what we're doing here. And we're not gonna mess with this at all. This one's gonna be put away, and if we ever need to revert back to the beginning, this one's here. We're not gonna mess with it. This one here is going to be Megan, all right? Now what we're gonna do, the very first thing we're gonna do on this, uh, now that we've gone through all of our menus and all that stuff, and we, like I said, we barely touched on things, we're gonna get deeper. So I just, I wanna get, sorry, I wanna get into this, so let's do it, okay?